Hello, everybody. We're back here on the bear grind. Um, I gotta ask you guys a question real quick. Did it update the thumbnail? Is the thumbnail like a bear and two uh, moose? Because when I shared it in Discord, it showed the golf it thumbnail from last night. <laughs> so like, did it actually change it? I is it the right thumbnail? I don't know. It is? It is the correct one? Okay. That is all I needed to know. But yeah, we're going back to the bears. We're also going to be doing some moose today, so if you like moose, stay tuned. We'll be doing moose as well. But we're going to start out with the bears. Because I, I apparently just, just hate my sanity. <laughs> and want to lose it all to some bears. Let's, uh, let's start a brand new loadout for bear hunting. Let's name it the bear hunters. Bear... Hunter, hun, huns, hunters, there we go. Bear hunters. Let's go with, we'll use the 338, why not? And let, let's do this seven millimeter as well. Screw it, we might as well do it. And then we can also do the 22. Now let's get the ammo real quickly. 22 truncated and 338 polys, 7 millimeter polys, Argus, the Hyperion, and let's get the first aid kit and the night vision binos, as well as the regular ones. And yeah, that should be good. Should be good right there. We should probably save the loadout, though. Boom. There we go. It's now saved. Amazing. Now we just got to put everything in its slot. There we go. Let's see what the bear grind is going to be like now, since they made those changes to the uh, need zone times. Or not need zone times, but like how quickly they get to zones. We'll see how this goes. Uh, just to switch it up, Sambo. I, I don't like using the same thing, and I've been wanting to use the AR, and they finally made it so I can do the 22 tricks. So, naturally, I would gravitate towards it, because I prefer that style. Always preferred the, uh, the AR platform rifles. In real life and in the game. Got an elk right there. That sure ain't a bear. So we're probably going to have to warm the map up a little bit. Go to every location to get the bears a moving in. Oh, that would be insane, John. That would be amazing if we could get that to happen. Nothing there, as I expect. We'll kind of bounce between them a little bit. See what we can get moving around. Hey Eric, how's it going? Hey Dominic, how's it going? TTK. Uh, we got a few days ago, Flinch. We got a moose. Video for that will be out in a day or two. Should be two days from now that video will come out. No, we didn't find one on Medved. Medved, to be honest, just fell apart. I'm doing good, TTK. I hope you're doing good as well. No, we didn't get any initial spawns, uh, Jerk, and we've only had one. I used to think that we had two, but we actually only got one. After I learned more about the game, I realized that my second one that I thought was initial was definitely not. Um, I just, I just told you, uh, Flinch, we got it a few days ago. It was a moose off of Rev. We got a, uh, moose great one for our 30th. Hey, Emmons, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry to hear that, Pancake. Indeed, Caitlin, indeed. I figured we would give them a... We would give them a go and see if they get to their zones at a better rate than before. If it's better, then we'll probably... Commit to a bear grind. 
If it's not better, well, I don't know what to do then. We're going to go to every single zone to start the day out and see if we can just get them moving around. What's my favorite rare? My favorite rare is the Melanistic Pheasant. They are absolutely gorgeous. Do you recommend any maps to play? Uh, yeah, Revontuli Coast, Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, Tiabaroa. Those are all fantastic maps. What's the biggest issue with the Black Bear grind? Uh, waiting three hours to even see a bear every time you reset the time. That's the big issue with it. Typically, like, we reset our time to around 20, 20, 30, and I don't see bears until 23. In, like, nine times out of ten. And as you can imagine, that can get kind of boring, just not seeing anything for like 30 minutes. Which is why we haven't really been doing it. But I mean, if we ever want to get it, we got to keep going for it. 22 has been okay for you. So you're, you're setting the time to 22 or they're getting there at 22. Because I've always felt like with the bears, resetting the time to like 23 or 22 doesn't seem to change anything for me. We could try it. We could try doing it for like 22. We'll see. If that does work, that'd be amazing, but it hasn't worked for me in the past. But I believe the last time I tried it was before they moved them around a bit. Nothing there. What do we got here? Mule deer zone. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to every single zone to kind of like um, activate them, right? And then we will go and reset the time to 22 since Caitlin is saying 22 is pretty good for them. We'll see if 22 gets them there instantly. If it does, I will be so happy. Nothing there. And then lend the... Oh, that. Gosh, English is tough. Let's go over here next. And we'll see if there's anything here. You have every diamond in the game. I don't have all of them, but we're getting close, David. We're getting close. We got the uh, links finally a few days ago. Or actually, it was about a week ago at this point. It's getting us real close. I'm doing good, CDG. I'm doing very good. Uh, Dominique Brits, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Enjoy all of the uh, perks that come with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, uh, the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool perks. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. What fur type was my great one, Moose? It ended up being a Fabled Ash in uh, Matthias. Which was honestly the one I wanted the least, but after seeing it in game, it looks a lot better than I thought. So I'm pretty happy with it. I don't remember all of them, Sambo, but I think a lot of it is uh, Revon Tuli bird species and then like Medved species. That's primarily what I'm still looking for. Stuff like the musk deer. And then a lot of the birds, yeah. A lot of the birds and then musk deer. And then the colored peccary. Can't think of what else, but those are like the main ones that I remember. Alright, so now that we've gone to a lot of our zones, let's... Change the time to 22. And then we're going to reset it once more because I want it to skip a full day ahead. You don't think I have any diamond white tail or red deer? Yeah, I probably don't. I definitely don't have any uh, diamond red deer. In fact, I didn't even know that a red deer could make diamond. That's pretty crazy. That's a joke for anybody that was curious. I, I know that that's a thing. I know, I know Diamond Red Deer are a thing. You're on your Red Deer grind? Nice, Dominique. That's awesome. Red Deer are fun. One of these days, we'll have to go back to them. Did you know this game has daylight? No, really? I thought that was just a myth. 
Uh, yeah, I do have a side stripe jackal. I think I have two of them, if I'm not mistaken. But they're definitely one of my, like, least acquired diamonds. You don't see too many, uh, jackal. Oh. Maybe Caitlyn was right. 22. That's a bear already. Kevin, it's a female bear, and they always show up quicker for me. Two female bears. Hold up. Hold up. Is this what I've been missing this whole time? Is it because I've always reset the time to the beginning of their drink time? Is that why I never see my bears? Because we got two right there. Given it's not the males, but you know. Still just nice to see them. Gotcha, Kathy. I'll have to try it. <laughs> hey, Fundy. I know, right? We're back to bears. It's crazy. We're doing bears and moose today. Uh, bears because we need to get that bear great one. Moose to kind of like keep me from going insane. Because uh, my rev moose grind is like insane right now. They are very, very consistent. So I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. I actually got a rare moose this morning. That'll be in a video soon. So the moose have been treating me well. They have been treating me very well. I believe I've only got four diamonds on like the entire rev moose grind. That's over the course of 440 kills roughly. And every single one of them was a big rack. So that's pretty crazy. Actually, no, we got five diamonds then, because we did get a we did get a small rack one as well that was a four. And then we got four level five big racks that made diamonds. So it's been pretty insane how the moose have gone on a uh, rev. I'm hoping that because we've had such good luck with the moose, bears will do the same for us. But uh so far it's not really looking like it. Have yet to see a male bear, but we'll keep trying. We got this, I believe. Will I be doing more quail hunting? I mean, yeah, we'll definitely do some more quail hunting. We gotta get a uh, diamond or rare quail for that mount. Gotta have a nice quail to throw in with that bear. And not bear, moose. Throw in with the moose. Yeah, literally, Caitlin. You got the two fur types for the great one bear that I really want. Although, to be honest, I think Fabled Chestnut is, like, slowly becoming my favorite. It was, like, my second or third favorite, but I'm starting to like it more than the Spirit. There's just something about, like, how bulky the Chestnut looks. Like, that that bear just looks... He looks like he could crush a moose. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate that, dude. Holy... Now, I sometimes get bears right there, so I do want to loop around. That's a female. I got a feeling my males are still going to be super late with everything. Oh, it definitely would, Forestry. Doing herd management on quail would destroy you. <laughs> like, oh, man, I could never. That'd be insane. Quickly, call the bears stinky. It worked for the moose. You're right. You, you stupid stinky bears. How are you the one if you're not also great? I don't think it's working. We'll see though. No bears, theirs. No theirs, bears. Any bears here? Uh, no male yet. Oh, there's definitely males there. Yeah. One male. <laughs> yeah, I'm really starting to wonder if I should start shooting the females as well. I'm really starting to wonder. That was not even vitals, rip. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? I mean, 
feel like one of those should have hit. Maybe not, though. That guy is probably not going to die for a bit. I don't know how long we'll use the 338, guys. I'm just not used to it. We'll see how long we can stay with it, but uh, I might end up going back to the 300 pretty quickly. Hey, Timothy, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. What well, moose rack is my favorite? You got a condensed moose rack or big rack a few days ago. It's your favorite. Nice, David. That's awesome. My favorite is the big typical rack. I, I love that rack so much. And it's the only one that I have not got at this point. And I really badly want to get it. I kind of had a feeling it would be the last one that I acquire because it's the one I wanted the most. That's usually how it goes for me with the whitetail. Or not the whitetail, with any great one. Whitetail, red deer, moose. Like, I always get the one that I want last. Yeah, yeah, I know, Caitlin. They're pretty amazing. The 50-50 racks are awesome. ibai has got a really nice 50-50. It, it's crazy to me that nobody knew that they could be 50-50 because I, I knew, like, the first week there was, like, three or four of them that got posted. You want a non-tip spider mix? I don't know if that's possible. I think it can only be like the rack above and below. So like they have to be next to each other in like the ranking of smallest to biggest. So like uh, typical and non-typical and big non-tip can mix. Uh, big non-tip and the quad paddle can technically mix as well. Um, spider and uh, typical could mix I think. I believe so, but yeah, I, I don't think that you could get a spider and big non-tip because I think the big non-tip is the second biggest rack and the uh, spider is the smallest rack. So yeah, they wouldn't be able to mix, unfortunately. We killed a bear, guys. Oh my gosh, we killed a bear. Crossplay invites means on uh, Epic Games and Steam, Kyle. That's been there for ages. They clarified it. It's it's talking about different platforms on PC. Like, uh, if you're on Epic Games, you can join your friends that are on Steam. That's what it means. That's been there for a while. We have male bears. 30 minutes after I I think you were right. <laughs> I think you were right, Caitlin. This is my problem. I just haven't been resetting the, the time properly. Are you telling me that we're actually going to have bears to shoot? What? Oh my god, we do! We got bears to shoot! So that's what I've been doing wrong. This whole time. Let's 7 millimeter this one. I heard another down here. Where? Where's this other bear? I heard it. And I must have it. I mean, honestly, if we can get this to happen every single run, this actually won't be bad. Yeah, I changed the thumbnail, Necron. It doesn't show on Discord. Uh, recently, like, embedded streams are kind of busted. So when you embed it into like a uh, discord, it sometimes shows the previous streams thumbnail, but it is changed. Everybody that joined said that, uh, everybody that joined from like notifications or the like YouTube homepage said that it was the right one. So it's just an issue with YouTube showing it wrong. Or I guess discord really issue with discord showing it improperly. You know, hopefully this bear grind is going to, uh... Hopefully this bear grind is going to give us a little bit of money back from the moose grinding. Because that moose grind breaks the bank, man. 
<laughs> hey, bro, bro, how's it going? That is that is the most accurate impression I've ever seen. I didn't know you could get a more accurate impression without actually speaking. Uh, yeah, Chope, 22 is what Caitlin was saying. 22 seems to be like the, uh, the sweet spot on the time. Is this going to happen? Are we actually going to get bears down at the same pace we can get our moose down? That'd be crazy. We can do that. That would be insane. Which one are you talking about, Don? Which outpost is that? I don't pay attention to the names of the outposts, if I'm being honest. Which one is Black Bear Outpost? Because there's a possibility that I do go to it. Right there? Oh, this area is just all female bears for me. I have a couple males that go there, but it's not enough to warrant going down there. A couple female bears there. No male. This zone's always kind of like iffy though. Oh wait, is that a male? No, it's two more females. Silly little bears. That's wild. See if we got anything down here. All right, later, Caitlin. Thank you for being here. As always, thank you for being here. Level one trivial female. That's where you got your great one bear. Nice, nice. Got a four there. Just the four for now, from what I can tell. What the? What was that? That was such a weird maneuver that bear just did. Thank you, Donovan. Appreciate it, dude. We're going to do our best to get it. Okay, those are all females. So, bro, bro, when you say fellow human chatters, that makes you sound a lot like you're not a human. I'm going to just say it. Bro, bro, AI confirmed? Gotta be. Gotta be with that type of comment, bro, bro. Hello, fellow human chatters. Sounds like a cover-up. <laughs> hey, Nathan, how's it going? Oh, no, Evan. That's rough, man. 0 0.1 below. Or 0 0.01 even. Jeez. That, that's rough, my dude. That's rough. Thank you, Bobby. Really appreciate it. I knew Brober was up to something. See, that's what I've always thought as well. Like, he's got to be up to something. There's no way that somebody is, like, uh, this funny, like, without being a, an AI. Hey, chicken. Oh. There's a bear. Okay. That's going to be a long shot, but actually, I, I don't have faith in this 338 at this range at all, but we'll try it. We'll see how it does. <laughs> of course, we get the best shot of the day when I say that. Wow. Can neither confirm nor deny. That is, that is right, bro, bro. That, that is right, man. 
Can't let people know if you are. Now let's get over to my favorite lake. Oh, and also, guys, thank you all so much for getting us to 106,000 subscribers. We just hit it this morning. In fact, right before I started uh, streaming. Thank you, uh, PA... Uh, Rail... Gosh, I had to turn away for a second. Had a, had a little burp trying to come on. Yeah, thank you guys so much for 106,000. 106,000 hour stream. Bro, bro, are you trying to kill me? Like, like, come on, man. Are you, try are you trying to kill me? Oh, three. Oh my gosh. Um, This is where I really wish that I had brought the uh, 308 AR. That's a lot of male bears. That is a lot of male bears, man. Andrews, you haven't missed too much. You have not missed too much at all. Just kind of figuring out how we're going to be hunting these bears. Trying to do my best to figure out the most effective way that we can hunt them. Caitlin, uh, let us know, like, uh, to change the time to 22 instead of 20. Instead of 20. And it seems to already be giving us more bears. So that's really awesome. We're going to try, Donnie. We're going to try. Uh, yeah, I have New England. I actually just played it a little bit last night with, uh, with bro Brent Caitlin. Not a big fan of New England personally, though. I mean, it's good for small game, but that's about the only time that I go hunt on it. Female bear there. gotta be a male bear as well right can't just be one female man I guess it is I guess it is just one female bear feels bad man it's unfortunate all right later brober thank you for being here uh, no clue, CDG. I don't really pay attention to when other people are streaming. Female. Come on, where's the males? Hey, Ebron, how's it going? Um, I would, but, like, she really doesn't have much time to do, like, uh, grinding. No males here, which is actually really shocking. This area has always been loaded for me, so it's really strange to see it have, like, nothing. Oh, that's awesome, Hunters. That is awesome to hear. Congrats on the Great One Moose. Same lake as the, uh, as the one I got as well. Amazing. Oh, is that... Wait a... Is that a blonde bear? Is that a blonde? <laughs> or is that cinnamon? I can't tell. Hold up. I think that's blonde. <laughs> I think that's a blonde bear. Oh my gosh. What a way to start the day. Oh my gosh, that's got to be a blonde. Dude, that's amazing. Looks blonde, cinnamon. Yes, yes. It is. It might be, man. That might be a blonde. I think it is. If it's blonde, that is amazing. Blonde are a lot harder to get than cinnamon, so. 
Let's kind of like sneak up as close as we can. I want to take it with iron sights if we can. The wind is not in our favor. We're going to have to loop around this way. We're going to have to loop around that way. Yeah, I, I think it's blonde for sure. This does appear to be a blonde bear. I know, right, John? We got ourselves a level 7 blonde. Honestly, that's a pretty good sized one. I'll take a level 7 any day. Oh, really, Chope? That's crazy. I think at this point, we've killed almost 4,000 bears without getting our great one. But I've had like four blondes, I believe. And then like two brown. And of course, a bunch of cinnamon. Uh, Doc, thank you so much for the membership. Really appreciate it, dude. Welcome back. With that red badge. My gosh. You have been a part of the community for quite a while, man. Really appreciate it. Hey, Jaden, I'm doing good. Also, Huntress, I just realized you have the, you have the rainbow badge now. That is insane. The two-year badge for Huntress. Holy. That, that is just wild. It's crazy to see everybody getting those, like, bright, colorful badges nowadays. Yeah, Duck, you got the six months going. Yeah, Jaden, we did get a great one, Moose. We got it, uh, a couple days ago. I think it was three or four days at this point. Or no, like, it was three. It was def- No, maybe it was two. Hold on. I gotta think. Wasn't yesterday. I don't think it was the day- it might have been the day before. It might have been two days ago. I think it was Tuesday. Pretty sure it was. Uh, not really a big fan of Rust, uh, Bison. I played it a while ago. For quite a long time, actually. And after a while, I just, I just couldn't enjoy it anymore. Rust is too toxic for me. What fur was it? It was a fabled ashen with the spider rack. Queen Lightheart, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Holy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Jaden, the video should be out in two days. I'm doing a video tomorrow. Uh, showcasing all the other trophies that we got before the Great One and a couple that I got after it. And then we're going to do the Great One video right there. Very random question, but is there a way to not load into the game with a loadout? Getting tired, wanting to just hunt with random guns, log out, log back in, and I'm stuck with my last saved loadout. I have no clue, Zach. I, I, don't, I don't believe so. It should hold whatever your last loadout was until you change it. Huntress, thank you for the 24 months as a member. Absolutely crazy. 24 months. That is crazy. Yeah, I think that's blonde. That definitely looks blonde to me. What do you guys think? Yeah, Duck, we got a great one, Moose, two days ago. And it was a beauty as well. It's a blonde for sure. That's what I was thinking as well. This really looks blonde. We're going to try to sneak up as close as we can and then blast it with the 338. Gosh, the 338 looks so weird when you're crawling. <laughs> it's so bulky. Why? We're not quite close enough for the light to really show us what it is. Oh, 
Oh, we are gonna shoot it, uh, Sin. We are gonna shoot it. I just want to take it with the iron sights, so we're gonna try and get closer. There we go. I could not see anything. These iron sights are so bulky. <laughs> I don't like the iron sights on this thing. Like, at first, like, when we first got the pack, I said I liked them, but I'm really starting to hate them as we go further. That's cinnamon. That might be cinnamon. I think, wait. No, that's, that's blonde. Or is that brown? I can't even tell, man. What is this? Yeah, this has to be blonde. It's gotta be. Boom, blonde. 20.03. That's a good blonde, man. That's a good bit into the gold rating. That's probably one of our best rare bears of all time. I think I've only had one mythical rare and it was a cinnamon. So this is pretty insane, actually. We got liver and left lung and it dropped it on the spot. To be honest, I'm surprised we even hit vitals with those iron sights. Those irons are rough to use. The bear grind delivering a trophy already. I guess it was the right move to come back to it. Because we got this beauty right here. Holy. What a way to start the day. That is awesome. Blonde's rare. I'm clueless. It is. Blonde is very rare, duck. It's more rare than cinnamon. You really don't see a lot of the blonde bears. Hold on, I gotta look across. There actually might be some at this spot, too. Okay, nothing there. Good to know, but I had to check, you know. Great one today, then. I hope drawn like, oh my gosh. You know, after being on that really long moose grind and having it finally come to an end with that beautiful, uh, Fabled Ashen. It does make me feel like we might have a similar scenario with the bears, hopefully. We've been on the bear grind for longer than we were that moose. Not quite as many kills, but more time spent on it. So, will we be able to bring it to a close very soon? I hope so. Just uh, that moose grind really made me start to feel like it could pop at any time. Like, you never know when it's going to happen, and if you give up, then... You never know if you could have been just a few kills away from getting it. So we're going to see if we can accomplish this uh, great one grind. Get ourselves a bear. Yeah, we're on the bears again, AJ. We're going to try and make it work. Going to try and get ourselves a great one bear. We've attempted it many times and never really had anything to show for it besides some diamonds and rares, so we're giving it another go. Uh, let me see how many kills we're at for bears, actually. So bears, before we stopped grinding, we were at 3,450 with three trolls, 23 diamonds, and 10 rares. We just added another rare to that count, so that's pretty nice. Oh no, Huntress, that's rough. It was a blonde. It was a it was a gold blonde, actually. It was 20.03, so almost a full point above gold. It's probably one of my biggest rares of all time for bear for the black bear. Definitely my biggest blonde. What's the average for the great one to spawn? Uh it depends on the great one. For white tail, it's 1,000 to 2,000. For Moose, it's roughly 1 to 2,000. Sometimes even less for Moose. Black Bear, it seems like 2 to 6,000. It varies so much because we don't have a lot of data. Not many people hunt for the bear, so it's kind of hard to judge. But most people get it like, I'd say 2,000 to 6,000, with some being the exceptions that get it sub 1,000. 
And then for Red Deer, it seems like the average is about 3,000. Red Deer seem to take a long time. But I mean, they're really easy to hunt, so you can kill a lot of them quickly, so I guess that kind of makes up for it. Yes, and Aldo, we're back on the Black Bear grind. One of the only streams I miss, you get a great one. Yeah, Cage. One of the only ones you miss, we got a great one. Gotta love it, right? You get your great one bear either 400 kills or 10k kills. Pretty much, Drawn. That's what it sure feels like with them. How does the 338 work on bear? Um, if you can get past the bullet drop, it actually works pretty good on them. It's been absolutely laying them flat so far. Oh, definitely, uh, Sin. There's a few that have. Um, I think Lady Legend got hers in about 1,000 or 1,200 or something. Um, I've killed 3,500 with no Great One Bear. I buy Premiums got his first Great One Bear at 6,000 kills, I believe. And then got two more within, like, another 1,000, so... Bears seem to vary quite a bit. They are very, uh, sporadic in terms of their numbers. We might need to do a little bit of a main menu. Actually, past their time, so yeah, we do need to main menu. It was 64.30 for Ivy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And then Ivy, Ivy was telling me that recently he's been on some really long grinds for everything. Can't remember if it was Moose or Whitetail, but... One of them took him like 4,000, another took him like 3,000, and now he's on another whitetail grind that has taken over 2,000 already. He's on kind of a bad streak in terms of like, uh, kill counts, which is rough. Feels a lot like the moose grind that we had. Yeah, bears are very random, Zacky. They seem to be the most random uh, grind length of all. We need to find some places to put more stands because I, I need to be able to use stands at these locations. Otherwise, we just get too much hunting pressure built up. And though it's nice to have a stand there, I can't see the edge of the zone when I'm there. I need to be able to see this side too. Holy. Excuse me. I don't know if it came through the mic or not. I turned away, so hopefully it didn't. Sneezing and sneezing like crazy today. Uh, do I need to do a tree? I need to do a tree stand. I don't know why I didn't think of that to begin with. We could do a tree stand here easily. It did come through the mic. Yeah, I kind of thought so. I looked up and I saw that it uh, raised the volume a little bit, so... It happens. He's 3,500 into Whitetail now. Jeez. Yeah, when he was talking to me the other day, um, I think he was at like 2.5k, so he's killed quite a bit since the last time I talked to him. Let's get a tree stand. We'll see how this works. I love how like a long time ago, I bought a lot of tree stands thinking that I'd use them, and now I like never use them, so I have a bunch of tree stands that'll probably never get used. Gotta love it. Call the wild. Add features so that we can sell stuff that we bought that we no longer want. Please. That'd be amazing. On what type of view is, that, is this gonna give us? Oh gosh. I mean... No, nah, that ain't gonna work. That That's not gonna work. <laughs> not even a tree stand is gonna help us here, I don't think. I mean, maybe over here. What was my 22nd, or my 2200th diamond? I believe... 
It was either a moose or it was a diamond that I found while I was moose hunting that hasn't been in a video yet, so I'm not going to say what it was. But I got another diamond from a different species while I was hunting for moose. So that's going to be in tomorrow's video, so I don't want to spoil it, but I believe that was my 2200th diamond. Yeah, seems about right, Zacky. Codex has always been really weird and buggy in terms of uh, the statistics that it shows for great ones. I mean, mine says that I've got like 50 great ones, but I clearly don't. A lot of people's, it doesn't even count their great ones. For others, it counts like it's counted diamonds as great ones in the past. So, yeah, it's impossible to know. Go 22 again. The bears count in codex now? That's good. I know the moose weren't counting. And I think the moose still aren't counting. Even though it was supposedly fixed. I've heard people say it still isn't. But that's why I don't pay attention to the codex. Not accurate at all. I'll tell you one thing. I'll give you guys a hint on what the diamond was that I got for uh, tomorrow's video. It's not a great one species. That's your hint. It's not a species that has a great one. Where did this bear go? I probably shouldn't have reset the time and then gone down here. I probably should have come down here to get the bear first. Because now his tracks are gone. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll get him next time. We got the tree stand set up. That's all that really matters. It's off of Rev on Thule, guys. So it would it wouldn't be a black tailed deer or a fox. It was a random Rev on Thule animal that I found whilst I was searching for the Great One Moose. I hope it is, Kathy. I hope it is. Gosh, it feels so weird trying not to spoil it while also like acknowledging the messages in chat. Messages in chat. Yeah, I hope it's a raccoon dog. It's definitely a cape. I think you're right. It's definitely a cape buffalo. Lynx? That would be pretty cool. Deaf a bird? I mean, there's a lot of birds on there, so definitely a possibility. Yeah, those bears do not want anything to do with whatever's down there. Doesn't seem like there's any males there anyways. What class is the animal? Well, that would just spoil it too much. I can't say I can't say what class it was. You guys will guess it instantaneously if I say that. Although that kind of just gave away more of what it could be. Dang it. It's definitely a badger? Probably. Oh my gosh, I would love badgers. They need to add badgers to the game one of these days. That would be amazing. Just please give us badgers. That'd be so cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Keaton. That'd be a really cool uh, way to do a, a lion great one. I really think that they do need to make the lion like a super tough looking lion if they do a great one for them. Oh, there's one. We got a bear in its zone at 2227. Oh my gosh. This is what we've been missing the whole time. We've just been setting the time way too far back. Wow, some of the best shots I've made today have been the really long ones. That's crazy. Bear or raccoon dog also could be lynx. Hey, you never know, Necron. You never know. And you don't even know. I could be saying stuff to throw you guys off on guessing it. There's our little bear. 
Just a little level five though. What great one did you miss? Uh, you missed a Fabled Ashen Moose that we got two days ago. That's the only one that we've got recently. We haven't got any great ones today though. How happy was I when I got it? I was probably the happiest, uh, happiest I've been to see a great one. Not gonna lie, like that might be the most excited I've been for a great one just because it was like a 4,500 kill grind and like literally 300 kills after we switched over to Rev on Thule, we ended up getting it. So it was, it was unexpected and it was so exciting. And it was actually a pretty cool combo that I didn't know that I liked so much. Like, Fabled Ashen has always been one of my least favorites, except for maybe when I first saw them. Like, when it first came out, I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, uh, after a while, I started losing interest in the Fabled Ashen, but this kind of reinvigorated my enjoyment of the Fabled Ashen. It looks really good with the, uh, Spider Rack. I'm really happy that that's the combo I got. Because there's definitely way worse combos I could have acquired. And that one, it, it actually looks pretty nice. The antlers fit the coloration of the fur. I might at some point, uh, YVs. In fact, I still need to get the, uh, I still need to chase after the, uh, diamond albino brown bear from the Medved missions. I still don't have that thing. So I think I definitely need to go for that at some point. And I'm sure there's a couple other mission animals I'm probably missing. Missing. I know I haven't got the fallow deer. We could go for the fallow deer albino at some point. What about the wolves? Yeah, I've got all the wolves from Quattro. Because uh, I wanted the 6.5 Rayo really badly when Quattro released, so I grinded Quattro's missions super hard to get the Rayo. And uh, yeah, I got all the uh, wolves in the process. Unfortunately, I messed up the Phantasma one because I didn't realize it was going to be a diamond. I just saw a wolf come out and I shot it. <laughs> so that was unfortunate. So sadly, I don't have a diamond phantasma wolf. I have a botched, uh, a botched phantasma wolf. Because this was when I was still relatively new to doing missions in Call of the Wild. I had never really done them much, so I didn't know there was mission animals. Yeah, I've got the Mocha Moose. We did all of the uh, Tiawaroa missions when the map first released. It's a really good mission line, honestly. I like Tiaboro's missions quite a bit. And I mean, you get a lot of really awesome rewards for it. You get the Mocha Moose, you get the Laminated 303, like... It, it's definitely worth the time you put into doing those missions. There's that little bear over there. That little bear over there. 316, eh? Don't move, buddy. You know what? Down he goes. Somehow we nailed that. Oh no, Kathy. I'm assuming you decided to take a pick of it then. Jeez. I feel like I've heard rumors that you can get the picture and kill it eventually. I don't know if that's true. I heard a couple people say that if you take the picture, you can still kill it in like a later mission, but I don't know if that's actually true. They could have just been messing with me. Which is probably very likely. Nothing over there. Okay, we'll go grab that bear in a second. I want to go over here and check this one before we uh, drive over there with the ATV. Took the picture and killed it right after. Oh, you chased it down? I didn't know that you could chase it down. I thought it just disappeared off the map. That's cool to know. Oh, 
Oh, he turned. What a rude dude. And he's dead. That's all that matters. He's going down. We sometimes get a male bear out there. But uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be there this time. We'll pop the 22 out there real quick. Anything? Hello? Nope. No bear out there. There is one over here in the grass. I don't know if it's a male or female. To be honest, at this point, I don't mind shooting a few female bears, so... Think that was it we just shot? Maybe not? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did we miss it and it didn't run? No, it had to have ran, right? I don't know what just happened. What does the black bear great one even look like? It's got some really cool fur types. So one of them is a spirit bear, which is like a, a cream colored bear with a darker face. There's also the fabled cream. Oh. Found him. Didn't hit him vitally, but found him. That was wild. So I guess it ran towards us, and that's why I didn't see it. Nothing over there. Okay. Let's go over here and grab the ATV and go claim those two. Hey, Broken Builder, you missed a blonde bear. We got a level 7 blonde, which is, I think, one of my biggest rare bears of all time. So we're off to a good start today. Off to a very good start. I believe we can go grab this one right here first. It's probably the closest. But not see this thing running too far. We hit it, like, what, three times? Maybe slightly more or less, depending on how good my aim was there. I know we definitely missed at least two of the shots. Oh, there's our bear. Perfect. The other one's way over there. What did we hit? Yeah, three shots. Humorous, femorous, and flesh. Welcome back, uh, duck. Calling it stinky worked? It did, WV. We literally called the bears stinky, and they gave us a blonde. We called the moose stinky, and they gave us a great one the next run. It, it just works, it seems. I think we need to do it again. Maybe that'll uh, get the great one bear to spawn. I'm guessing this guy didn't run far. Yeah, he's right there. All right, I think we got to do it. We got to do it. Let's uh let's summon the great one. Stinky. You suck. Bears are bad. Haha. Uh -huh. Dead. Dead stinky bear. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, if that doesn't get them mad enough to toss a great one at me, I don't know what will. Like I just I roasted that poor bear. And that bear was dead, so he couldn't even fight back. That'll anger the Great One, and he will come out to avenge him. It'll happen. It's gonna happen. Calling in right now. I had to get disturbed uh, vegetation. It is a skill, I believe. Is it a skill or a perk? It's one of those. Um, I think it's a skill. Right here. Tier 4 in the Stalker skills. Female? Oh. Pronghorn? Okay. Pronghorn and pronghorn. Amazing. So I think what we need to do now is run down to this lake. It usually has a bear or two. Usually if I can't find the males here, they're down at the lake below. 
It's accurate? Yeah, yeah, I guess that, I guess it would be accurate. Thank you, William. Really appreciate it, dude. Exactly, Easton. Exactly. Gotta antagonize the bears until they get just mad enough to, to throw the, the big boss at us. Yeah, we'll be going for some moose uh, later, Josiah. Chestnut, great one. Looks the coolest to me. I do like the chestnut a lot. The fabled chestnut is really cool. I would not mind getting a fabled chestnut, a fabled spirit, or fabled cream. Not a big fan of the spotted or either of the glaciers, though, so those would be my least favorite. I'd be a little bit disappointed if we got one of those after all this time, like... After all this work put into grinding, if we get a, a fabled glacier or a spotted, I'll be a little disappointed, but I'll still be overly joyed that we even got a bear, so it'll cancel it out, you know? Hey, Ferris, how's it going? Hey, Preston, you missed a level 7 blonde bear. That has been the only trophy of the day. Holy. I can't believe that we got him before he ran. I thought for sure he'd be a goner. Usually if they're going to run, they go this way, so. Don't see it, though. So I think that was just the only bear here. I don't think there was any more. Where did he run to? Oh, right there. Pro's blind, guys. Yeah, he, he stood for a long time. He stood up for a very long time, for sure. Great one, Next Lake. I hope so, WB. I hope so. All females. Oh, man. Well, at least they're here this time, but yeah, it's all female bears. Fun times. Hey, one hunting. You missed a level 7 blonde. That's been the only thing that we have got so far today. But, I mean, that's a pretty good one thing to get. Uh, this is the only stand right here. We could probably do a tree stand somewhere here, right? Maybe? I don't know. Probably not, actually. I think it's just this that we'll be able to use. See if we can get this guy's attention. There might even be another bear over there. I don't know. Turn around, buddy. I think we just killed him with those two shots. Nice to see a couple males here, at least. Try being nice to the great one? I mean, we could compliment him. Maybe the bear is different than the moose. Maybe the moose likes it when we uh, talk crap about him, but the bear doesn't. I mean... Oh, Mr. Great One. Mr. Great One Bear. You have the finest hair. In Silver Ridge Peaks over there. Gosh, if anything, that's going to scare him away. That was a bad idea, guys. We shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. We should not have tried to make a uh, com compliment poem to the Great One. He's sure to run away now. He will definitely run away now. <laughs> He's going to be like, oh, gosh, no. <laughs> I 
timing's impeccable. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that, duck. It's something, though. It's definitely something. Alright, nothing here. Yeah, Joe, we did get a great one, Moose, two days ago off of Rev. I think it was two days ago, at least. It's all a blur. No bears here. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? He's a good scarecrow, but a bad lyricist. <laughs> Something. Something like that. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, I still can't believe we got it. It was uh, probably the most shocking... One of the most shocking and exciting great ones I've ever had. It was literally the second run of the day. We did one run through all my zones on Rev. And the first respawn we got to look at was that great one. We started at that lake, did a full rotation through all of our zones, and when we came back, boom, there he was. It was crazy. Level four bear there. <laughs> I love the way they flop. We got a spot that we can put the stand. Right there. We can try it. Might be kind of blocked, but maybe if we put it high enough, we'll be good. Probably not, though. This is going to be blocked by the limbs, I think. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, that's actually great. Never mind. That's awesome. That's about as good of placement as we could possibly get there. I'll take it. Oh, no worries, Ferris. Thank you for dropping in. Rev is the key? I think it is, man. Rev has been awesome to us. Hey, Wicked, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I've been doing pretty good. What do I think about Way of the Hunter? I think it's a good game that is going to be a great game in the future. Right now, it doesn't quite have enough content to keep me interested for a long time. But that, that will change with time, um, obviously. Way of the Hunter has a great baseline. It just needs more time to uh, add more content, right? For me, I think the biggest thing with Way of the Hunter, why I don't play it a lot, is we don't have rares for all the species yet. And we don't have stuff like non-typicals or like an extremely rare chase animal. Once they start moving those types of things into the game, getting more locations, more variation to their antlers, I think that game's going to blow up. Mm, I just realized this is where we started, so they're not going to be there. Let's do a quick main menu. Yeah, Connor, we did. We got the moose two days ago. Um, I'd give Way of the Hunter a 7 right now, Will. Really good game. Uh, lots of room for improvement. I right, later, Ferris. Thank you for being here. What gun am I using? I'm using the 338 bolt action at the moment, uh, Ryan. Yeah, I like Way of the Hunter, Kathy. I think the lack of rares for every species is what stops me from playing it a lot. That and, like I said, the uh, limited antler variation and the lack of, like, some form of non-typical or, like, Great One equivalent that gives you more to grind for. Once they start adding stuff like that, I'll probably play it quite a bit more. Yeah, exactly, Spork. 
That's the reason that I haven't done a lot of bear grinding in the past. Though, uh, we may have figured it out. Caitlin told us to set the time to 22 instead of 20. And so far it's working. Our bears are showing up much quicker. I knew I saw another bear up there. It almost looks like a little bit lighter color, but I'm probably just seeing things. Hey, little guy, get back here. There we go. Probably should have shot him from that sand, but you know, it is what it is. We got him anyway. Can animals wait age on way of the hunter? Yes, they can. Uh, they actually have a full aging and genetic system in the game, which is pretty amazing. That's probably one of the best parts of the game. Is that aging and genetic system. Because it is very well done. Honestly, I kind of really want to put a, uh, a tent down there to speed up the claiming process. Hey, RT, how's it going, man? Yes, Connor. So what I've got planned for the Moose Great One video is tomorrow I'm going to post a video showing the other trophies that I've got along the grind. As well as a couple trophies that have showed up shortly after the grind ended. And then the day after we're going to do the Great One Moose video. Did you miss anything? You missed a level 7 blonde uh, black bear. That has been our only trophy of the day, but to be honest, that's a pretty awesome trophy. One of the best ones I could have asked for. Nice little level seven, not bad. Now, where is the other one? There it is. This lake's been very good. Like, it's consistently good. I get a lot of bears here every single run. Typically two to four. This one, though? Not really. To be honest, I don't think we'll go there yet. I'm going to focus on the ones that have actually been giving us males. Yeah, Andrew, we decided to jump back on here. Uh, Caitlin gave us a little tip that has helped out quite a bit. Instead of setting the time to 20, we've been setting it to 22, and the bears are getting there really quickly. That had never really, um, been the case for me with bears before, so I didn't expect it to work, and then, boom, it did. So now that we've got them being a little bit more quick to their zones, I think we can definitely make this grind work. Because the only reason I stopped doing it was because I didn't want to spend, you know, three in-game hours not seeing anything because I felt like it was boring to watch. Now that we can actually see males consistently, like, it's been great. No male there. Eventually, we're going to have to go to some of the other zones and uh, see where the bears have congregated, though. No, I haven't done a New England moose grind. Not a fan of New England for moose because they're so spread out. But, you know, one of these days we might have to go for it. Wickes, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Nothing there yet. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, midnight. That explains it. We need to reset the time a couple hours. There we go. Bears are honestly super fun. Uh, they definitely can be when they're actually cooperating. I feel like the only thing that made them not a lot of fun before was because they were always late to their zones, and now that we've kind of found a way to get around that, it's actually not too bad. 
Definitely not too bad. Now, let's see what we can do here. Have I ever thought about doing a collab with Flinter? I've already done it before, Builder. I've got two videos with Flinter and I think three live streams with him. We've already done a decent bit. Oh, that sounds about right, Colton. Like, New England is tough. It's really tough for Moose and even for Whitetail, but not quite as tough for the Whitetail, I guess. But definitely tough for the Moose. And terrible for bears. From what I've heard, bears on New England are really bad. Because they can be like all over the map. Johan, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. 3,000 kills later and you got your great one whitetail? Nice, that's awesome, dude. Congratulations on your great one whitetail. What does everybody think about the 308s? Uh, the 308 AR is one of my favorite guns in the entire game. 308 bolt action is... It's cool, though definitely slower as we kind of expected. <laughs> Uh, Vincent, thank you for the three months, dude. Welcome back. Haven't seen a stream in three months. Finally caught one, been in Japan. Jeez, dude, that's awesome. I hope it's been a fun trip, man. Hope you've been enjoying it. But yeah, we, uh, we've got some pretty wild stuff, uh, in those three months, man. We just got our, uh, first fabled fur Great One Moose two days ago. What the bear? I heard something around here. Down there, apparently? A strange place for the bear to be, but you know what? Who am I to judge? Maybe he wants to be down there. Nothing here. This lake's been really inconsistent for me for the bears. Like, really, really inconsistent. How do you check how many kills you have for a specific animal? You can't. You just have to keep track of it as you grind. That is the only way to know how many kills you have on a species. Is to just count it as you kill them. That's why I don't do an exact count, I just do an estimated count. Nothing here. I might move that tent eventually, because to be honest, I never see bears here. And when I do, it's like one bear. Got a mellow bison three days ago. That is awesome, William. Thank you, Builder. Really appreciate it, dude. Crazy to think that we're at 106k already. Don't see any male bears here. There can be males up at the lake above us, so we'll check that. Doing the cheapest grind right now. Start off at 7 for Red Deer. After the drink time is up, go to Whitetail and Rev. Then when the time is up, go to Medved for Moose. I mean, that's, that sounds like a pretty good way to do it, Cash. Got your first great one last night? Nice, Lucas. That's awesome. We got any males here? Please, please, please let there be some males. We've gone to this lake three times today without a male. Female. Female. Male! There we go. Finally. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that second shot laid him flat, man. Oh, we're kind of like, uh, same level right now, Rage. We kind of go back and forth. But it's not a competition at the end of the day, so... When am I gonna kill the Great One Bear with? I don't even know, Noah. I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out when we actually get him. You've got mail. Yeah, yep, that was mail, all right. We've got mail. We got a mail, and he's right over there. Dead. On the floor. Poor thing. Alright, that's just the female. Looks like a bear you shot? I mean, we did shoot a bear. It's right over there. Maybe even a tiger? <laughs> I don't think it was a tiger. I can tell you that. De definitely wasn't a tiger. And if it was, that's a weird looking tiger. What do you recommend to discover any map? I mean, ATVs definitely are needed to quickly discover maps. Unless you're just talking about, like, the weapon loadout. If you're talking about the weapon loadout. Uh, just make sure you have something to cover every class. Two female bears. No males. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, chicken. What gun do I recommend for classes two to three? Uh, the 243 handgun or the 243 bolt rifle. Either are great options. Both of those are really, really good. Ugh, mountain lions, ew! Hey, El Reno, how's it going? Nothing there. What else? We'll head back here. There wasn't one last time. They should add nerf guns to call the <laughs> Definitely, I agree. 100%. I mean, they kind of did with the paint jobs we can put on these things now. You can make a full-on nerf gun. Just doesn't shoot nerf darts. Dude, really? You're gonna- you're gonna spook. No! My gosh. Yeah, gotta love those mountain lions, man. They're crazy. They should add full auto glocks? Ah, uh, I mean, we've got a glock. Oh, definitely, Huntress. Definitely. I agree. Bears do do be like that. They do be. They do be like that. And that is what they be like. Should add tanks. They should add everything under the sun. And the stuff that's above the sun as well. Why not? Mini gun. <laughs> Helicopters in Call of the Wild? Oh yeah, definitely. Helicopter DLC incoming.
They should have had nukes specifically for mountain lions. Now that I can get on board with. Can we please just exterminate all the mountain lions in this game? They, they cause nothing but heartache. <laughs> please just get rid of these, these mountain lions. Take them away from my bear zones, man. Get them out of here. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I think helicopter hunting would be insane in any hunting game. Just really hard to implement. So I can see why we don't really have it in many games besides uh, American Marksman. But I mean, it's a lot easier to do on American Marksman because it's a mobile game. And it's not like a... It's not designed as like a super, super realistic game, right? If they implemented it in Call of the Wild and it was just like a stationary helicopter that only drove in one direction and then you just shot hogs below you, I think some people would be mad that it wasn't like a helicopter that you can control. And I got a feeling that would just be so hard to add. Would be crazy though. Definitely would be crazy. Uh, not that I can think of, Blake. Been grinding Black Bear for the great one. Been trying to stack, but at this point, I'm ready to start shooting everything. Any thoughts before I ruin my stacking? Um. Well, what was your what was your purpose for stacking, Bank? Because the only reason that you stack in a grind is to get the rest of your map to be lower levels. If you already have the rest of your map to be lower levels, then it's fine to shoot them. When did I shoot the 30th? We shot the 30th like two days ago, uh, Flix. We got ourselves a Great One Moose finally. Finally got a uh, fabled fur type Great One Moose in the bag. Fabled Ashen with the spider rack. Minigun to be going brrrr. Yeah. I, yep, in, indeed, I agree. It do be like that. Miniguns do be like that. Only ever like one bear here, but you know, it is what it is. We will shoot we will shoot the 31st tonight too. I hope so. That would make my day if we could get ourselves a great one bear today. Yeah, Reno, that moose is so beautiful. It's a lot better looking than I thought it would be. Like, I didn't think the fabled Ashen looked that good in the sunlight. Need Palmer planes. <laughs> Only three things that I would love from Call of the Wild right now is for crashing on multiplayer console to be fixed to at least give the Red Deer Great One a different fur type. And, uh, groundhogs. Oh, wait. No, wait. Gun- Oh, gun dogs. I, I read that as groundhogs for some reason. But gun dogs, um, IE labs? Yeah. Yeah, that could be nice. That could be really nice. Especially the, uh, the fur type on the, uh, red deer. That's probably the thing I like the most out of there. Because we badly need more variation for the great one red deer. It's currently so basic. Like, it's just four racks and one fur type. It's got the least amount of variation of all great ones in the game. Especially since all four of those antler variations look very similar. And two of them are so close that you wouldn't know unless you put them side by side. Wait, let's get up here and pop it. Come on, go broadside. There we go. Oh, he stopped. Okay, he's dead. We're good. No, we haven't got the great one bear yet, man. It's the only great one I've never killed. Hopefully today will be the day. Or at least sometime soon.
I think it's just two bears here this time. Better than nothing, though. Unfortunately, it didn't fix all of them, Zay. There's more crashing that appeared after the hotfix. Which happens quite often. You push out a fix to fix some crashes, and sometimes it creates more crashes. Especially with Call of the Wild, it feels... <laughs> feels like Call of the Wild has that happen more than any other game. Not bad, Wickus, not bad. We're just different variations to the Great One Racks and Furs, maybe better? I mean, that's kind of what we're talking about, though, is more different rack variations and fur variations for the Red Deer. To be honest, I'm fine with the Red Deer having four antler variations like it currently does. It's the lack of uh, fur types that really kills it for the Red Deer. Since when did they have four? Uh, they have two that look almost identical, Zach. It was just recently discovered that there is four. There's two that are so similar that nobody really knew that they were different until they looked at the tine count. They have different tine counts, but look about the same. Like to the point where you would never know it unless you're looking at the side-by-sides of them and comparing every little detail. Uh, to be honest, Light Wolf, it's hard to judge like what would be a good money level for each uh, or a good amount of money for like each level in Call of the Wild because it's very highly dependent on what you hunt. Really dependent on what animals you hunt a lot. Um, how much stuff you've bought in the game. Like, There's a lot of things that will change the amount of money you have in games. So I, I don't think there really is such thing as like a good amount of money to have at a specific level. Exactly, Aaron. Exactly. Female bear. Male bear. There we go. <laughs> Take that. Not so tough now, are you? Oh my gosh, so many female bears here. And one more there. That's a female too. All right. As long as it's not a male, they can live. What's my favorite combination for any great one? Oh man. I don't know. Either... To be honest, Fabled Birch or Fabled Two-Tone Moose with either the typical wreck or the big non-tip. Like, whichever one of those, like, four combinations I possibly could get, that would be very high up on my list of the best combinations. And then just a Whitetail Great One with Fabled Piebald and the typical wreck. That would be, like, the dream trophy. So I think that would be my top five right there. Any combination of those like uh, two furs and two antler types for the moose and then the fabled piebald whitetail with the typical rack. That would be my top five most wanted great ones. Really hard to say what we could possibly get though. Like uh, I, I don't ever expect to get a fabled piebald. I really hope we eventually get a two-tone or fabled birch moose, though. I feel like that is much more achievable. And if we keep grinding, we'll definitely get some, I would say.
Imagine a fabled piebald typical rat great one white tail. I know right. That's what I'm saying Kathy. That would be amazing It would just be so incredible to look at Uh, yeah, Brett I am Got a non-typical black tail today in classic nice Reno. That's awesome The non-typicals always look so good in classic and I think the black tail are the best looking non-tips they look the closest to like real life non tips. Yeah, that would be nice, Kathy. I feel like I feel like all the older great ones need to get uh reworks to the rarities of the fur types. And like, you know, the red deer just needs some special fur types, but yeah, white tail definitely needs a rework to the special furs to make them a little bit easier to acquire or even just add some new furs that are easy to acquire if they really want to keep like fabled piebald rare just give us something like the same rarity as like a two-tone moose you know I think that'd be really nice this lake is so loaded with bears my gosh what is the most wanted animal that I want um I mean, I like I said, it's got to be the fabled piebald whitetail with the typical rack. That, that's got to be my number one most wanted. Diamond melanistic red deer is also very high up there. Diamond mela pheasant is high up there as well. There's a lot that I really want though. We shot one more, right? Didn't we kill another seven or did I grab them both? Guys, did I pick up two sevens? Or no. No, I, I don't think I did. I think the other one's up here. Let's just have our dog find- Actually, there's the blood. There's the blood. Okay, so it was this one. There he is. I was gonna say, I don't think I picked up both of them. Twenty forty six. that ain't bad. Not bad at all. That is pretty decent. You got a max score brown cape. That is awesome, Jaden. That's actually one that I've got as well. I've got a max score brown cape too. They are so sick. They look so nice. Oh, definitely slaying and arrows. Texas is one of my most wanted locations for Call of the Wild. I'd love to see them do like a game ranch, like a Texas game ranch. As it would open up so many possibilities with animals they could do. True Huntress, true. If you guys hit the like, maybe, just maybe, the Great One will pop out of the sky uh, riding a unicycle and uh, is singing we're halfway there. <laughs> Living on a prayer. The great one isn't there, but he could be. Do we have anything? Oh, oh, yes we do. How did I not see that at first? Uh, Johan, thank you so much for the super chat again. Still remember the days where you could not even grind for a great one whitetail because of bugs and now we have great one moose which has um, fur and racks together. I know, right? Crazy how things have advanced with great ones. That was honestly wild to be, uh, playing the game back when... Back when they had just added the whitetail great one and nobody knew, like, how to get it in, like, a timely matter. Nobody really knew how to do the super fast grinding. And there were so many bugs that made it so a lot of times you could get it to spawn and then you didn't even know you had a great one because it showed up as a level 3 instead. And then you picked it up and it was an overweight level 3. Then they fixed that bug and a new one arose with the overweight level 4s and 5s. So yeah, this has been through a lot. Hey Dusky, how's it going? That is up to you, man. That, that is not for me to decide. 
Only you can make that decision. Man, I'm loving how consistent these bears are being. Honestly, it's making me feel like maybe I can uh, abandon a couple of the zones I don't like. It seems like they're actually being really consistent where they come back now. Maybe we can just go through and smoke like 10 bears repeatedly. Oh my. Oh gosh, here we go. Vincent, thank you for the gifted membership. Really appreciate it. Congrats to Tippic Hunts. You just got gifted a membership from Vincent. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Do you think Call of the Wild could put squirrels in the game? I think they could. I don't know if they will, though. Because I think, I think the thing that's holding them back is they expect... A lot of people ex would expect them to be able to climb trees, and they can't really do that in Call of the Wild. Like, there would really be no way for them to make them interact with trees and have it not just, like, be super janky or break the game. And so I think they're just not doing it instead, which I don't think that's the solution. I think they should totally do it. But yeah, I got a feeling that they're not doing it because of that. Yeah, I remember that, Huntress. I remember those days when they had the little ambient animals. Wonder why they got rid of the ambient animals. I feel like it was probably performance related, but I can't remember for sure. Ground squirrels? Yeah, they could do ground squirrels. That would be a good solution. No bear there. We already main menued. I think we just need to reset the time again. Actually, we should probably jump over to Moose. We've been going for almost two hours already. That is insane. How have we been going that long already? We got to go to the Rev on Thule Moose. I got so carried away with the uh, bears. We probably killed like 50 bears in those two hours, which is not bad at all, man. That brings us up to 3,500 bear kills. And that was our 11th rare bear that we got today. Yeah, true, Pip. I guess they don't ever... I, I guess they don't have to do everything, like, true to life 100%. I guess that is true. Uh, let's start over here. Actually, I hunted that right before. Yeah, so this would be the next lake. Let's actually go to 14. Grab his key. You'll get a great one in two minutes. We'll see, man. That is... That's a, that's a great three. <laughs> that is the great three right there. Yeah, move over a little bit so we can sneak that shot right into the heart there, buddy. Nice. Raccoons love tree. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, <laughs> Fabled squirrel would weigh like a springbok does. I mean, it'd definitely be big. It would definitely be a chonky one. Just insult them again? Oh, but we've been trying that chicken. We've insulted the bear. We uh, complimented the bear. Didn't work. It's We gotta give it a rest. I feel like we've, we've done it too much. It's It doesn't have any meaning anymore. Hey, Flanky, how's it going? Managed to get a melanistic female uh, black bear and a leucistic turkey that flew right in front of me. 
So you wanted to die? Wait, melanistic female black bear. I'm assuming you meant female brown bear or grizzly. I'm going to assume you meant brown bear or grizzly. Because there is no uh, melanistic for the black bear. That's a good four. That's not a bad four at all. That guy's pretty nice. Not bad at all. Come here, little moose. <laughs> what is he doing? I've never seen one take this path. I've never seen one follow that path right there. I don't even need to go to the tent. I can just drive over there with the ATV. He ran so far. They should make a Great One Elk of some sort. I am 100% on board with that, man. 100% on board with an Elk Great One. I think it would be one of the best options they could possibly do. Any type of deer or elk species is like what they need to do for their next one. I think it was pretty clear from the uh, the great one black bear that the predator great ones are not as popular. And let's be honest, black bear is one of the best predator great ones they could have done. I don't think there's a lot of predator great ones that could top the uh, black bear in terms of making it interesting and people actually enjoying it. It's like the great one black bear is tough, but some people love that and it looks really nice when you do get it I couldn't see them doing like a fox or Like a coyote like oh, oh, it's a five Hey, I couldn't see a fox or a coyote being like oh three male oh, dude. What are all these males coming from? I've never had three males here. I've had max of where's the other female. Uh Oh, did I accidentally kill one of the females? Last night when I was grinding and it got replaced by a male. I hope not. I I'm just going to hope one of the females is late. Just going to hope. Just in case though, I'm not going to shoot the small guy. Let's get this five though. That's crazy. Like literally the third moose, the third male moose we see is this guy. That's pretty awesome. I wish I knew where that other female moose was, though. Great one gator would also be insane. Oh, yeah, for sure. That'd be crazy. That'd also be tough, man. That'd be a tough grind. Armies? Ah, oh, man. Some of those looked like they would hit, but they didn't. What do you guys think? Is he making it? I'm going to say no. How are the bears? They were actually pretty good, Caitlin. We got like 50 bears down in like an hour and 45 minutes. That's the most I've ever killed for bears, I think. And to be fair, like the first 15 minutes, we weren't even hunting them at the right time. Two seventy six, two sixty eight, two eighty six, two ninety two. That's what you guys think. Ah, oh, man, I'm going to call two seventy five point twenty seven. Oh, I was wrong. That's not the rack I thought it was. Not gonna lie, I thought this was a smaller rack. Holy, that's huge. I like that one. We're taxing him. That's a beautiful moose. Oh my gosh. That's pretty wild. That's a huge moose. Yeah, exactly, Kathy. This is the bigger variation of the rack that trolls. There's a rack that looks basically the same. I think the only difference is that this one maybe has wider palms and longer tines. Maybe slightly more tines as well, but like, it's very similar to one of the troll racks. Well, that was a nice surprise. 
Gotta say, I, I'm really happy about that. Man, look at how big his antlers look. That's gonna be good for uh, thumbnails. This guy looks insane. Wow, guys, that's awesome. I didn't expect that at all. I thought for sure he was gonna be one of the trolls. Hey, Peyton, the Black Bear grind was actually surprisingly consistent. Um, everybody in chat was helping me out with some tips to make the bear grind better. A lot of people were telling me to start at 20, 22.30 or 2230. A lot were saying start at 22. Some were saying start at 2130. So we started at 22 because that's what Caitlin had said to do. And I mean, she's got two great one bears. So I figured she, if anybody's going to know what they're talking about, Caitlin would. And sure enough, I did that and my bears started popping up within 30 minutes of uh, changing the time. So that's pretty wild. Now, where's his granddad? I know, right? Where's that great one? We need a great one to go with him. Decent little three over there. Gonna take this wonky four first, though. 264. Ah, a little bit far back. What a wonky dude, though. I don't think I've ever seen one that weird and wonky. That's actually a really cool, uh, cool bull. Come on, little guy. I think I hit his nose. That's vitals, though. Or not. I spoke too soon. That wasn't vitals. I'm actually really, um, really confused about that. Yeah, we do got to update the diamond counter. There we go. I'm confused how that second shot didn't hit vitals. It looked good. Yeah, that four has... Oh. oh, I forgot the tent blocks shots. Got him. <laughs> or got got her. <laughs> uh, I think we only killed the four, so we'll go get that. Uh, there should be a herd over here as well. We're going to have to back up a bit more for them to show up, though. There they are. Come on, buddy. Slow down. Nice. Now let's go grab that weird looking one. Actually really curious what that thing's gonna look like. We kind of saw it from a distance, but couldn't get a good look at it. I gotta know what it looks like up close. Well, we can tell this guy ran into a tree with only one side of his head. <laughs> oh, man. That is wild. <laughs> it's like he started slicking back his hair and only got one side. What a weird looking moose, man. What a weird looking moose. Now let's go get this other four. That's a Caitlyn type of trophy. Oh, definitely. Caitlyn would love that one. Brobro would be like, is that special? I don't know. What do you just walk into? I, I don't even know, man. A weird, weird moose. Let's see what we have over here. 
Weird and wonky looking three. Top five great ones I would want? Um, I would say... Blacktail Deer. Roosevelt Elk. Rocky Mountain Elk. Mule Deer. And Cape Buffalo. That's got to be my top five. Do we have a male back here? No. Okay. For a little bit, I did have a male there, and then I shot him, and never respawned so i'm assuming he went somewhere else or he just didn't respawn could be either maybe richard it's hard to say i mean we just got a great one moose like 200 kills ago or a little bit a little bit less actually let me check yeah so we've killed about 180 moose since our last great one mm, none of the males came back actually yeah none of the males that i shot here came back to this lake it's all just females. So it's only the one in the herd that we just claimed that came back here. I'll bet you that some of them went down to like uh, these two lakes. We'll have to check those eventually. Let's go to the hotspot lake. This lake is always so loaded. Pretty sure it's gave us a melanistic and two diamonds as well throughout this grind. It's been a solid, solid lake. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, it's a nice four. This lake is so loaded. <laughs> yeah, true, Richard. You can get them pretty quickly. You can definitely get them really quick. We've had a couple whitetail that were very fast. And my quickest moose was like 130, I think. Come on, buddy. Face us. Dude, stop, stop it. <laughs> what is he doing? He's just dancing for us. You know what? I don't know how many of those we got good hits into. That guy's hit good at least. We got at least one of them. <laughs> Yes, I have potato. I've I've done a bit of grinding since the last stream, so I, I already killed the respawn from the uh great one moose. His respawn was like a little level two. That's a decent four. There we go. It's like a confused face, Conley. Like when somebody says something just like completely off kilter and you're like, what? Let's go find these two right here and then we'll go grab that guy. One of them went this way. It was one of the fours. And then the other two went up the hill more, I think. Luckily, at this area, a lot of them always go in the same direction. What map am I on? We're currently on Revon Tuli Coast. Doing the Revon Tuli Moose Grind. And this Moose Grind has been amazing so far. I really like Revon Tuli for Moose. Like, I didn't think I'd love it this much, but I do. It might be my new favorite Moose map. Medved was a lot of fun for a long time, but... After a while, it, it got old just looking at snow constantly. Let's figure out if we even got vitals on this level two. I don't know if we did. I don't know. We did. We definitely got him. Is the 502 Diamond Rocky Elk big? Oh, uh, yeah, it's in the D. That's, that's getting up there. That's definitely a decent sized one. I believe the biggest they get is around 520. But uh, 502 would definitely be like on the higher end of scores. Anything over 500 is decent for them. How was my day? It's been good, man. It's been really good. We got a level 7 blonde uh, black bear and we got a diamond moose already. 
It's been a very solid day. Your biggest is 516. That's pretty crazy, man. I don't think I even have a 516 yet. I've got a lot of diamond mo uh not moose. I've got a lot of diamond rock yolk, but none of them have broke like a uh, 515. I think all of them were like 512 and below. There's that guy and back to this zone. After this, we'll go to the zone where we ended up getting that great one, a diamond and a level 4 piebald. Like that lake has been ridiculous, so I have high hopes for it every time I go there because it just seems to deliver. That guy is puny. Oh my gosh. What a small male. What a small male. Nice. We got them both. Though I think one's going to float. I'm going to show you guys a trick to make it so you don't have to walk across the river or the lake to get a floater. I just learned about this recently, but you see how that guy's floating. Now, keep in mind, this is not a cheap way to do it, but you can just reset the time and it'll reappear like right on the shore in front of you. Right there. <laughs> that way you don't have to wait for it to float. Now, obviously you'll have to have a tent near it, so you'd have to be set up with claiming tents like I am. But, if that's the way you set up your map, then you can use that to get them back on the shore. That way you don't have to wait like a full five minutes just for it to float to you. Yeah, you can go to an outpost and back, but the, the one thing that's risky about that, Andrew, is sometimes they disappear. So I've had a lot of them go invisible. You have to do it with like, with like the right timing or else they disappear. So it's a little bit more risky. So I don't recommend doing it if it's like a good trophy. But yes, you can do that as well, but it's slower. And a little bit more risky. Nice, we got them both. Uh, Dagon, thank you so much for the three months, dude. Welcome back. I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you're doing super, super well. How many moose zones do I have? Uh, to be honest, I don't know, man. I have not found all of them. I mean, I would say we probably have at least 50 or 60 moose zones. But I only hunt about, like, maybe 12 of them. That's a good looking four. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum. Uh, yeah, Jaden, that's actually insanely good. I've already done it, Ghost. Uh, uh what was that? <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys heard that. Those geese just bugged out like crazy. The audio for them bugged out so hard. There we go. <laughs> that was wild sounding. Those poor geese. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that was... That was interesting. 221, not bad. Got two of them right there. Nice. We're actually not doing too bad with the hard shots right now. What rack and fur did I want for my latest great one? I really wanted either Fabled Birch or Fabled Two-Tone. 
with um with either the typical or the big non-typical rack. Hey Johnny! Me wanting to do a moose grind on Rev. Not me wanting not wanting to take down my whitetail setup and not wanting to hunt the south for moose. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, that's why I pretty much avoided the south for the most part. I just hunted the middle and the north, and then after a while I started just hunting the north because they started becoming more consistent. And he's a floating. They need to add albino birds? Uh, they got albinos for a few of them. A few of the newer duck species have albino. Um, the harlequin duck has albino. I don't think the geese do, but um, there's albino pheasants and there's albino quail. So, so they do have albino birds, it's just not every species has it. Male there, just one male. This zone has only had one male for a couple days, but it's very consistent with its one male. So I keep hunting this zone for that reason. It's a very consistent one male. Just like one of the big lakes to the like uh, bottom right of the northern part. Is leucistic rare for the Capricali? Yes, it is. It is very rare. I've never seen one myself. I really want one, though. Really badly want one. It'll be in two days, uh, Ryan. Two days from now, we will do the uh, Great One Moose video. I'm releasing a video with all of the other trophies from the grind first. And then I'm going to be releasing the video of the Great One Moose. And then I think after that I'm going to try doing a, um, another video similar to the 22 truncated ammo video. You guys seem to really like that, so I'm going to test out some other stuff, I think. It seems that you guys really enjoy the, like, videos testing out, like, weird ammos and guns that nobody really uses, so I'm thinking about doing a video with the buckshot. I want to see how many different sizes of animals I can kill with buckshot before it gets to a point where I just can't get them down. Um, not anymore, HD. We used to, but I don't nowadays. Oh, we did not reset the, uh, we didn't main menu. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin. <laughs> but yeah, HD, we, we don't stack anymore. I'm not against it, though. I want to make that very clear. I'm not against people doing it. I think, uh, I think everybody should play the game the way they find the most fun in playing it. But, uh, I stopped doing it because... It was a, it was kind of a controversial thing to do as a content creator, like it caused a lot of arguing between people that agreed with it and disagreed with it, so we decided to not do it, and also it doesn't seem like herd management affects great one spawn rate at all, and so it's one of those things where I didn't really need to do it anymore, because I'm just after great ones for the most part. There he is, right there. There we go. Oh, I just realized we probably spooked everything off. Oh, man. Well, good thing we needed to main menu anyway. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. You definitely got to join one. We need to do like a... First to a diamond mega event at some point. Try to get like five or six people in total. 
Oh my gosh. Could you imagine if we could organize like a bracket, like an actual like championship bracket of first to a diamond where it's 1v1s and then the winners go against each other. Oh my gosh, that could be fun. That could be fun. I don't know how I would organize something like that though. If I could organize it, I will 100% do it because I think that could be a lot of fun. Thing about that is how would I go about like commentating if it's not me like if it's like let's say it's Johnny versus Caitlyn right that would be the one difficult thing is like cutting in my audio and like making it work It would be like a, I think I would just have to edit the video fully and then add in my little bits of uh, commentary like in between like. Well, it looks like Johnny has decided to take the Tiaboroa route to try and find himself a diamond red deer to win the challenge. Will it work out? Let's go over to Caitlyn. We'll see. Is she going to be doing the same thing? Oh, Revon Tuli. Interesting choice. I would have to commentate it like that, I think. And I'd have to like record it all after the, uh, after the fact of like them sending in the footage. That would be, that would be the toughest part I think, but it could be so cool if we could get it to work. I mean, maybe as live streams it would work out. I think it actually would work out better as a live stream. These moose are being something right now. Oh. Hey. What? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> what am I watching? The moose are possessed. This is scary. Not as scary as that aim, though. But that was something. That was something else. I I don't even. That was so bad. Gosh, they're moving so much. I mean, we hit a lot of them. I don't know how many are going to die. Uh, maybe, Caitlin. Where's the southeast corner? Let me look. What does that look like? Southeast corner. I mean, maybe. Yeah, it could maybe work. I can see that maybe being a possibility. We would probably have to practice it a few times to get it right. Yeah, I think a drive would be possible. Oh, you are, Johnny? I don't think the 300 feels weaker. But then again, I just go for hard shots, so... I don't know. Let me check these. Pen seems pretty normal. But that's just one. We need great one birds. If they made them not, like, impossible to get, then... I think that could work. I just don't, uh... I just don't particularly feel like bird great ones would be... I don't think they'd be a good idea if they have the same spawn rate as other great ones because then you'd just never find them. They would have to make them spawn a little bit more commonly for a bird great one to work. You need a fire-breathing great one turkey. Y yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sirree. Sounds fire. <laughs> that sounds pretty fire. 
All right, I don't think the rest of them died. Those are some pretty bad shots I was taking. Turkeys make you mad? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, TTK. What did the turkeys ever do to you, man? It's a nice four. Oh! Oh, we got two males here! What? Is that maybe even a third behind it? I can't tell. Okay, that, that took me by surprise. I didn't expect to see two here. I haven't had two males here in ages. That's awesome. It's good to see uh, some of the zones regaining males. Nice, we hard shot both of them. <laughs> yeah, John. I mean, you should know by now that that's not the great one scream. Uh oh. <laughs> Did not mean to pick that up. Y'all should know by now that's not how I would react to a great one. I'd be screaming. Nothing there. Oh gosh, Johnny, that was that was wild times. That was some wild times, man. You're calling a piebald? I wouldn't mind a nice piebald. Couple good fours here. Beautiful. Love seeing it, man. Probably reload. We only have two rounds in there. Ooh, we dodged. He dodged a bullet there, literally. Another decent four. The fours are just everywhere. There we go. I, I played most of the Deer Hunter games at El Reno. Deer Hunter 4 and 3 are a couple of my favorites. As well as 05 and 04. Phenomenal games. Phenomenal games. I tell ya. We'll go get that guy in a second. I want to go get this one first. Two forty-six. That's a big one right there. Eats kill spy name. Yes, chicken. I agree. Hey, Flinch. How's it going? Oh, they are drawn. That's rough. I've been getting big uh, fours, like on Medved and here on Rev. I get a lot of fours. Not a ton of fives, but a lot of fours. I've been averaging like one diamond every hundred kills or so on this grind, but I've got multiple big fours like every run. Nice, Ryan. Um, a lot of it's just they don't want to uh, wick us because they're afraid of controversy. EW's got a little bit of a strange way of looking at, uh, controversial game animals. I'm good, Ryan. I'm doing good. We got a nice rare bear, so we started the day off great, and now we, uh, are on some moose, and we ended up getting a big diamond moose. It's been a solid day. Solid day of hunting here in Call of the Wild. Oh, 
Oh, nice, Drippy. That's awesome. That is super awesome, dude. Get this little guy back over here. And now we go to our favorite zone of them all. Nice, Flinch. Oh, gotta love that, Nox. You two have been slacking with the notifs recently. I see legs. But legs to what? A level two. Amazing. What a monster. How was the bear grind? It was actually not bad, Johnny. Now that we've started doing our drink time at 22, it, they are actually popping up in 30 minutes. So we were able to get bears down really quickly. I think I killed like 50 bears probably in the two hours, or the hour and 45 minutes. Bears are bearst. Yes, they are. They are the bearst. Hey, Crazy Duck, I'm doing good. Hey, Faded, how's it going? Uh, yeah, the doggies I know, lady. Nice, Wickus. Stop moving, guys. Oh, yeah, he's going down. I'm doing good, Faded. Having a fun day. The bears were actually cooperative for once. And uh, the moose have been good so far as well. Welcome back, uh, Beckett. Oh, me too, Ryan. I've I've had that many times. They trick you for sure. They definitely do. And then I've had times where it's a melanistic and I'm like, eh, it's probably just the shadows. And then I pick up the track and it says Mela. Gotta love it. Little baby level three. Actually, to be fair, it's pretty big for a three. I'll give him that. What 
Welcome back, Levi. Okay, both the females are back here, so we can shoot this male. I was so worried when we saw three males and only one female. Thought maybe we had like replaced one of the females with a male. Ah, uh, you did, Trude. It says message retracted, which means that you removed it. Did it not equip my med kit? Oh, do I not have the med kits on my moose loadout? I guess not. I, I guess I don't. Uh, the 30th great one was two days ago, Zach. It was a great one, moose. Nice. That guy got away last time. We finally got him. Oh, I bet it does, Johnny. Nothing there. All right. All right, guys. I think that is probably going to be it for this stream. We went for two and a half hours today. <laughs> kind of crazy to think that we lasted an hour and 45 minutes with bears, and it felt like it was, like, barely even moving by. Like, it, it felt like we had only hunted for, like, an hour, and we hunted for an hour and 45 on the bears. Pretty crazy. But uh, I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you all so much, and uh, we'll be back either later today or tomorrow. So until then, peace.